This is a customization that we have uh, written to handle uh, generating DMR repl uh, uh, replacement POs for DMRs that have failed inspection. So um, right now, if you have a, a PO that you go through an inspection process and it uh, generates a DMR, and then if you say that DMR failed, you'd have to manually go and recreate the PO to get the replacement bits for that um, failed quantities. So um, this little piece just automates that a little bit. So let's start off here. We've got a, um, we're going to inspection processing, or, or receipt entry, sorry, where we're going to uh, receive a PO. We go to packing slip number here. Then we're going to create a new stock receipt. And I'm just going to receive uh, 10 feet of this quantity. And I'm going to say inspections required. And line received and save. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go into the inspection processing screen under uh, the quality assurance module. And I'll have my new PO receipt ready there for me to inspect it. So here I'll see that um, I've got this quantity of 10 that needs to be inspected. So let's say I'm uh, this inspector, and maybe uh, five of them passed and five of them failed. I'll have to give a reason why it failed here. Let's say they failed for cosmetic reasons. So when I save this, it's going to come through and tell me, okay, it's created this DMR 1058. So now if I go to the DMR processing, it looks like it would be a different user now. And it was unprocessing this. Let's say that I rejected it. I'll do uh, reject, and um, the supplier gave me an RMA number. So I'll say RMA one two three four five. And let's say they gave me a uh, RMA for only four of the five that failed. When you save it, um, here's where you know, everything up until now has been standard Epicor. Here's where our new procedure comes into play. We have a pop-up that comes up at this point that asks, do you want to create a replacement PO for the failed quantity? Yes or no. So if you hit no, it's not going to do anything different than what normal Epicor would be doing at this point. But if you hit yes, what it's going to do is now we've written out to a, a queue for replacement um, DMRs. Now you can continue to process more and more of these um, where this might build up, uh, where there's you know a handful of uh, RMAs to process. And the idea is we have a new custom screen under customizations here called Replacement PO Processing. Now you'd probably most likely put this under the Purchase Management area, but I've just got it up here in its own folder. And when you load that up, you're going to get a list of all of the DMR replacement PO that where they had requested yes for replacement in a grid here. Um, I've only got one, but you could have as many as you potentially want here. Um, you'll get various bits of information, the DMR number, the PO, the line, the vendor. And the replacement quantity here is listed as however many were part of the RMA. So remember that five had failed our inspection, um, but I only told it four were um, part of the reject. So that's what's showing here. Now you'll notice this column is actually editable. The idea here is that you might actually have where you run up with several different um, DMRs that might be for the same parts. So as the person that's processing this data, they might decide to um, not process one line and increase the quantity on another. So we leave the control for them in, in, by editing it so that they can make those changes they need to. But when they're ready to process them, all they do is they check the boxes of all the um, ones they want to process. And then they hit the Save button here. And what it'll tell you is uh, a replacement PO 
We give you the number. It's been created for the DMR. And if you had multiple checked, you'd actually get this pop-up telling you each of the different POs uh, that were created for each different DMR. So let's go ahead and look at this 4117 here. So this is the PO that got created. Um, the way we create this PO is we actually go to the original PO and copy most of the original fields right into it. So we know, you know if you had any um, special fields specified, you know, UD fields or anything like that, the buyer, all that stuff, um, we pull all that in from the original. A few changes we make is in comments. We actually have some custom comments listed in here. Um, Something saying that this is related to a DMR, here's your RMA number, here's the original PO number, stuff like that. And the quantity is the quantity that was failed. So, And this PO is not yet approved, so we still leave a layer in here for you to go through and, and still decide whether you want to send this out or not. But that point, the cycle is complete. Um, this uh, replacement PO screen as you process them, they just pretty much just get cleared out of this grid. So you notice after I, since I saved the one, there's nothing left in here. So it's all cleared out now. That's our uh, replacement DMR PO process.